Creating processes and organizing your business and your systems is all amazing. It's what we do. We love it. But there's a huge key piece that people miss when setting up their ClickUp, which is you can set up your process and your procedure and have it super organized, but you want to make sure that you then have a place to store that process and the training on how to follow it, which is exactly why we created our SOP library. Our SOP library, SOP stands for Standard Operating Procedure. It's basically just a fancy term for training. This is where we have one list, or you could have multiple lists depending on how many SOPs you have in ClickUp that stores all of our trainings. This is super helpful, not only for our team members if they're diving into a new process and they need to look for that training video, but also for for onboarding new team members. It is so much more efficient when you just have all of your training videos in one place and you can assign them to the team member instead of having to have training meetings over and over again. And by the way, hi there, my name's Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a verified ClickUp consultant. So creating and organizing systems and processes in ClickUp is totally my jam. So I'm super excited to go through the SOP library template with you today. With that, let's Let's dive in. For first view would be the status view. So here in the status view is where you're going to see the different SOPs that you have in your library that are obviously going to be grouped by the status. So the current statuses that we have in this library, which you can absolutely change are to create in progress review, needs edits, inactive, and then finalized slash active. So these are a great starting point to manage this library. You know, you put SOPs in here that you want to create, you're working on them, reviewing them, and then they're either active or they're no longer active. The reason we suggest not just deleting SOPs that are no longer active is because it may be helpful to refer back to them over time and you really don't need to delete them. If you want to change these statuses, you can always click on add slash edit statuses. You can rename them, delete, add, change the colors, make it your own. So then you have the linked docs. We'll get there in a second. We have a drop down for department. So you can choose to use this or not just to keep your SOPs organized. So the current categories we have are admin, marketing, sales, customer service, operations, client management, project management, and executive. In these, again, you can click add slash edit options and absolutely change the categories, change the department, you can name this category instead, change colors, color code it to be custom colors if you want, all the fun things. Then let's talk about the other columns that we have in this view. So we have the date that this was created, the date that this task was updated, who the task was created by, and then a people field for who the owner is. So these fields right here, created by, date updated, date created, link docs, and status, those are all native columns. So you can click on this plus and see show slash hide and choose what options you want to put on the outside. And then the department and the owner are custom fields that we created. So when it comes to SOPs, if you are not a solopreneur, what we suggest with SOP management is that Obviously, someone will be responsible for creating the SOP, whether that person remains the owner or then it hands off to the person who's now owning that process. You want to make sure that there's a clear person who's responsible for keeping that SOP up to date. So for example, as you could see in here, we have owners for downloading meeting recordings. This technically should be admin, daily inbox management. That's my assistant, Fernanda. Anything related to sales would be Jeff. Client management is Andrea. The list goes on. So that is the status level. Then let's talk about the actual SOPs themselves. So you'll see here, some of these SOPs have linked docs while others do not. So SOPs, they can literally, it's just a fancy term. It's 
standard operating procedure, but it's basically a training document or video. So this is just mapping out the process and keeping things organized for specific things that you do inside your business. So in here, you can see like download meeting recordings, daily inbox management, discovery call process, sales pitch, onboarding and offboarding clients, the list goes on. So you can either have where in the task, you literally insert a 60 second loom video of how to do a very simple thing, or it could be more robust like the discovery call process or the onboarding a new client process. And so either you can utilize just having the information in the task description itself, or you can create and link documents. So in the SOP docs view here, this is where we have all of the SOPs that are written as new pages in this doc view. Underneath the main page for the department, it has the specific documents as well. So you can see sales pitch, discovery call, SOP. Now these were actually derived from ClickUp AI. So we highly recommend utilizing ClickUp AI if you have it, where for example, say I wanted to do um, sales follow-ups, then you can do forward slash AI, write with AI, and then be like, write a sales follow-up sequence for my ClickUp build service. Then you click go, and then it's gonna go ahead and create those items for you. So ClickUp AI is amazing. The other ones we just did, write a sales pitch SOP, and this is what I came up with. Um, so just wanted to feature that in this video as well, how you can use AI to really increase your productivity as well. So then once you create that document, you can come to the outside of the task and click on link docs, add doc, and then you're just going to, you can search that SOP, or if you clicked into it recently, it'll be right at the top, and then you'll click into it. So now you can click here, click into the SOP, and it'll be right there attached on the outside. Now the other way you can do this is by clicking into the task and clicking on add link, and then link doc, and then search for docs this way as well. So if I remove that two-way link, you'll see on the inside of these as well, the relationships one doc here as well. So we're almost wrapping up here. That is the status view going through how to create and manage these, what this view means. And then the last one is the active department SOPs. So this view is where this is grouped by the custom field department instead of status. You can still see the statuses here, see date created, created by owner, etc. And there's a filter that this is only showing the status is finalized slash active. So if you do want to delete this and see all of them, you can go ahead and see, you know, what's in review to create, etc. But this is a great way to just see the active SOPs and not get bogged down. So let me go ahead and put status is, and then we're gonna do that finalized active again. So I hope that was helpful for you in realizing that it doesn't have to be complicated to store these trainings. There are multiple different ways that you can do it. But the great news is this template that I went through is actually free. We have this template in the ClickUp Community Template Center. I will go ahead and link the template in the description below so you can go ahead and snag it. And one last thing, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there's a lot more ClickUp tutorials for you to go ahead and watch and so many more coming down the pipeline. With that, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.